Welcome back to Wager Talk TV. I'm Marco D'Angelo, joined in studio with Brian Leonard. You can follow him at B Leonard Sports and Eddie Boron. You can follow him on Twitter. Simple at Eddie Boron. Guys, we've got Minnesota and Louisville. And I got to ask you, you think the committee, you know, got a little chuckle when they put these two together? We've got Minnesota, coached by Baby Portino, going against. Dad's old team, you know, was that just a little little knife there, Brian? Yeah, that, I'm not usually getting into these kind of things, but uh, I handicap what's on the court. But yeah, this is this is going to be interesting how this one turns out. And uh, Eddie, you look at this one. Minnesota is a team that maybe some people questioned whether they you know really belonged here, and you know down the stretch, how many teams were coming out of a very deep Big Ten uh, conference. Louisville at times this year. Look like world beaters. They played play some really good teams really well, and then they would have that game that, how did they lose this one? You know, that inconsistency factor. How do you see this one matching up? Well, the first thing I, I looked at when I seen this come out was I pay a lot of attention to coaches. And Patino up against Mac, I mean, with a whole week to prepare, I mean, Minnesota's going to get shut down because the, the game plan will be there to take away everything that Minnesota can do. And basically, if you watch Minnesota through the season, I mean, they, they beat Purdue at the end, and that was about it. I mean, there wasn't a lot to per, for uh, Minnesota this year. And I thought, being on the bubble, I did, I did not think they would get in. And I thought it was very lucky that they did. And then the matchup they got, I didn't think it was one they were going any further than Louisville. Brian, looking at Louisville, they can turn up the defensive pressure at times. Uh, we know uh, in the golden days with that uh, press that they had, how do you see them in Minnesota matching up? Yeah, Louisville has uh, fourth in the country in strength of schedule, but it's a team that hasn't played well as of late. Uh, they lost seven out of the last ten games. Uh, against top 25 teams, you kind of mentioned how they look so good and so bad against certain teams. Against top 25 teams, they're only three and eight. Well, let me tell you, Minnesota is not a top 25 team, and I agree. This is a team that are a poor shooting team. They didn't play well on the road, two and nine straight up on the road. Uh, I'm not in love with Louisville. I'm actually looking to bet against Louisville in the next round. But um, there's no way I want Minnesota here. I, Louisville, the coaching mismatch is going to be huge, I believe. Uh, go back to you, Eddie, for your play. I have a feeling we're going to be talking total maybe in this one. Do you have a side on the total? Actually, I, I have a lean. I would lean to the under again. Mm -hmm. And um, that's, that's basically, I don't have a play on the side. I really don't have any thought on the side. One last thing to add with Louisville, the last 10 games, they've held seven of those 10 opponents to 39% or less shooting. You know these teams coming out. Uh, you're playing in a bigger venue. Sight lines are different. You got nerves coming out. And if you got a team that plays good defense the way they do, this game could get off to a very slow start. You might want to be looking, you know, we always like to look at these unders, but I think if you're playing an under in these tournament games, especially the first game of the two in the building, I would also maybe split my wagers up and have a first half wager. I, I was going to point that out is uh, we, there's plenty of reasons to take the under, but this is the last game one of these teams is going to play this year, and we saw that in the conference tournaments. They just start fouling early. So if you're looking to play unders, first half would be the way that I would go. And if you see the way they set the first half totals compared to the game total, they're, you're laying less for the first half because they're Usually, compensating for the, a, that end of game In following. a normal regular season game, depending on what the total is, you're looking at roughly seven, eight points yeah. in the second half. It, de it also depends on the game spread. If it's a, if it's a closer game, they expect the fouls yeah. as opposed to a big, big lead. All right, guys, good stuff here on the Minnesota-Louisville game. And, guys, we're running this special until tip-off on Thursday. Once the first game of March Madness tips off on Thursday, this deal is gone. If you've never bought a pick from Wager Talk or Sports Memo, you can get $20 free. Use it however you want with coupon code MM20 when checking out. Use it at both Sports Memo and Wager Talk. Guys, we'll be back with more here at Wager Talk TV.